Hello there, it's you really be here, and today I'm gonna be talking a bit about shuffling cards. More specifically, how to make your computer shuffle the cards for you. I'll be using C Sharp, but I'll be going over the algorithm so you can follow along with your language of choice. For starters, when we talk about a card deck, we think of it in terms of an array of cards. So shuffling those cards is the same as shuffling an array or a list if you want something more dynamic. My first instinct when faced with this problem was to make the simplest algorithm I could think of. Just take a card and swap it randomly with one of the other cards in the array. Do that for every card and you've got a shuffle deck. To implement this, we just need a for loop to go through the deck array and generate a random integer between 0 and the array length. Then, we swap the cards at the current index with the card at the randomly generated index. The swap function just swaps the cards on the deck. We can see that working here. Simple and effective, right? Well, wrong. You could use it, sure, but this method is incredibly biased. Let's imagine that we have only these three cards. The first time you swap them, it would look something like this. All of these different possibilities are equally likely. Then, for the second swap, we can see that already there are some combinations that are more likely than others. After the third and final swap, it's visible that some of the sequences generated will be more likely than others. For some applications, that difference isn't important, but for a card game, that means that someone could use that bias to their advantage. That bias only gets worse the more cards you have in your deck. If there are four cards, there are sequences that are 85% more likely than others, and when there are 7 cards, there are sequences that are 8 times more likely. So how should we shuffle those cards? What we want is the perfect shuffle, where all sequences of cards are equally likely. Well, there's the Fisher-Yates algorithm that consists of basically going through a list of all the cards and randomly picking one, removing it from the list of cards and adding it to your deck, Here's how that looks in C Sharp. We create a list of all the cards and then we use a for loop to go through every card and pick one from the list and remove it so it doesn't get picked again. In the end, you have a shuffle deck and as long as you generate truly random numbers, this will be generating a perfectly shuffled sequence. But the thing is, this algorithm was not made with computers in mind and this extra list is unnecessary. What we can do is use only one array and keep track of how much of it has been shuffled, so that we don't shuffle that part again. This is known as the Knuth Fisher Yates algorithm, and here's how to implement it. Notice that the last index can only swap with itself, so we can stop at the second to last index. If we were to look at the first algorithm and this one, we can see that they are very similar, but one of them is inherently biased and the other is not. Also, the Knuth Fisher Yates algorithm goes through one less card than the first one, so not only does it generate random shuffles, it also swaps less cards. It's almost counterintuitive. You'd think that the more you swap the cards around, the more shuffled your deck would be, but as we've seen, that's not what happens. This video was inspired by this How Not to Shuffle post by Mike James, there will be a link in the description if you want to read further into it. And recently we've hit a thousand subscribers. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos such as this one, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye!